When the first official royal portrait of the Princess of Wales was unveiled to the public a decade ago, Catherine was typically polite, describing Paul Emsley's efforts as brilliant, absolutely amazing. The critics were less kind, however, condemning it as ghastly, rotten, an out-and-out -out disaster, in one case. Another remarked, acidly, its only saving grace is that it's not by Rolf Harris. Now, I can disclose that the work has been consigned to a storeroom at the National Portrait Gallery, even though it's the London Institution's only solo painting of our future queen. It can be viewed by prior appointment in our archive. Catherine is royal patron of the gallery in Trafalgar Square and rumors swirl that she may be secretly pleased the work is no longer on public view. It's unthinkable that the painting of Her Royal Highness would be removed from public view without consulting her, a source tells me. That would be very discourteous. She is our greatly valued patron. The oil painting was given a prominent spot from its unveiling in 2013 until 2018. It was then lent for a touring exhibition around the world until the gallery closed for £35 million of refurbishment work in 2020. When the gallery was reopened last month by the princess amid great fanfare, only two works featuring her image were left on display, a painting, by Jamie Corrath, of her side-by-side -side with her husband, Prince William, and a photograph by Paolo Roversi, an Italian fashion snapper taken to mark her 40th birthday in 2022. Emsley's dead-eyed painting, which sparked global controversy for making the princess look older than her years, was not the only prominent royal portrait to disappear when the gallery reopened. Nikki Phillips's 2010 painting of Princes William and Harry in their household cavalry mess uniform was removed from public display. The decision sparked speculation that the gallery was keen to avoid Catherine being photographed next to an image of Harry, who publicly accused her of making his wife, Meghan, cry. Among other lurid claims in his memoirs, Spare, he alleged that William physically attacked him and knocked him to the floor. The gallery insists that the princess has no influence over its selection of works. Decisions relating to the portraits on display are made by the curatorial team, the spokesman says. With over 250,000 portraits held in our collection, we are only able to display a small percentage within our building. We regularly rotate the portraits on display and loan portraits from the collection to other galleries and organizations. Don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel and activate the bell button to receive all new updates.